You're listening to NGSE Sports Radio. Hear us live on NGSEsports.com where you can get awesome analysis for all things sport. Or check out our podcasts on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, iTunes, TuneIn, and much more. For our latest videos, head to NGSC Sports YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at NGSC Sports and like us on Facebook. NGSC Sports. We never stop. Here, I am starting episode 230 of the Foreign Affair podcast. Hello, everyone. I am Edward Green, not joined as always by McCall in crime, Wes Bradshaw. Unfortunately, uh, Wes Bradshaw not able to make it tonight live, but will be joining us uh, later on in the episode from Parts Unknown. Um, and uh, before you guys say anything, yes, it's very. Don't don't start a conspiracy, please. Like just Yes, yes, things happened in the Champions League this week and, and yes, Wes is not here, but this was this was planned. We told you guys last week, so settle down, settle down. Um Yeah, it should be fine. Um anyway, uh so welcome to the podcast presented by NGSC Sports at NGSCSports.com. We never stop. Uh I am going to give you a quick rundown of what happened in the Premier League this past weekend, in addition to what happened in the Champions League this week, as well as a League Cup result. Um, then you're going to hit a little bit of news and notes, and then watch for us. And then Anfield Corner, we'll hear from at the end of the episode. So let's get right to it with the Premier League results from the weekend. Uh, unlike uh, weeks when Wes is here, uh, when he's not, we're just going to go straight through in chronological order. We love chronological order here on the pod. Uh, and, and and what better place to start, really, than the Olympic Stadium, not the bowling ground. Uh, West Ham with the 3-1 win over Manchester United, and frankly, it wasn't even that close. Uh, Philippe Anderson and uh, Marco Arnautovic on the board for West Ham. Uh, Victor Lindelof also on the board, but not for United. Uh, Mark Rashford, the lone goal scorer uh, from United that actually scored in the correct net. Uh, Rashford actually pulled it back in the 71st minute with a goal um, to 2-1, but Arnautovic answered three minutes later with the clincher. Uh, West Ham, now, you know, we talked a lot about how rough their start was and how difficult their schedule was. Well, uh, you know, coming out of the international break, it was like, well, they have Everton, Chelsea, United, and Brighton. That's a very tough stretch. Well, in the first three of those, Everton, Chelsea, United, they've earned seven out of nine points. That's really good. So we'll see if they can keep it up. Uh, As for United, it's, oh God, it's just all falling apart right now for them. And that is... We're we're just we're just on Mourinho firing watch at this point. So remember everyone when I did the hot take near the beginning of the season where I was like Josie's gonna last the whole way. You didn't think it was a hot take then. Now you do. <laughs> I ain't saying it now though. Hell no. Um, elsewhere. Whoops. That's okay. Anyway, uh, Arsenal beats Watford 2-0. Watford uh, sitting a little bit of a skid here. Um, Although not a great match for either team. Uh, Cathcart with the own goal for Watford. uh, And Mesut Ozil deciding to play on this Saturday. Gets the second one just two minutes apart after the 80-minute mark. Um, Gives Arsenal the big victory. And seeing them surge up the table. Watford starting to fall just a little bit down. Uh, Everton with a 3-0 win over Fulham. Give you secrets in with the brace in that one in the second half. Uh, as well as a goal from Sank to Sun. Uh, praise the Sun. Uh, he gets the goal as well. So Everton with a big win over Fulham. Fulham just really needs to get some sort of consistency again. And that defense is just not very good. Uh, Man City didn't struggle too badly with Brighton and Hove. Uh, Raheem Sterling and Sergio Aguero on the score sheet for the citizens as they win 2-0 at the Etihad. Uh, Newcastle falls at home to Leicester 2-0. Uh, Jamie Vardy had his party with a penalty in the 30th minute, and then Harry Maguire 
But man, our little white is incredibly happy they still kept. Uh, he had a goal in the 73rd minute to seal the deal. And again, I know he, I know West doesn't think it's going to happen, but I'm just like the uh, Mourinho getting fired countdown clock. Rafa to United just sounds so good, so good. And I don't like, I don't like Newcastle. I don't like United. And I don't particularly care for Benitez. He's fine. I don't have a problem with him. I just whatever. I just think it makes too much sense. I know he was at Liverpool. I just, I still think it makes too much sense. Um, Wolves beat Southampton 2-0. Uh, Johnny Boy with a goal in the 87th minute to seal it for Wolves as uh, they are really hit, starting to hit the ground running here in the Premier League now. Uh, after that, of course, big draw over City. They've been doing really well. Uh, Tottenham with a 2-0 win over Huddersfield. Harry Kane with the brace in that one. Uh, 25 and 34 minute goals. 34th minute coming from the spot after Danny Rose was fouled in the box. He was fouled. It was a big foul. No big fouls, but foul nonetheless. Um, so Tottenham gets the win at the J.S. Smith, Smith, J. S. Stadium. Uh, and then finally, in your match of the week on Saturday, it was Chelsea 1, Liverpool 1. Eden Azard with the goal in the 25th minute. Maybe the best player in the Premier League right now. He made it 1-0 Chelsea, but Liverpool got one back almost at the death as Daniel Sturridge equalized in the 89th minute. What a pickup he has been for Liverpool as long as he stays healthy. As far as I know, he still is at 7:27. PM Eastern Standard Time on October 3rd, 2018. Daniel Sturridge is healthy. That can always change. Um, but Liverpool, they 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 don't win for the first time in the Premier League this season at Stamford Bridge, but they do rescue a point, and of course you'll be hearing more of that in Anfield Corner. Uh, on Sunday, it was Cardiff one, Burnley two. Uh, Burnley needing to start pulling some points together, gets a 70th minute winner from Sam Vokes to win at Cardiff. Cardiff still winless on the season. And then finally on Monday Night Football and NBC Sports, Bournemouth with a winner at uh, at home against Crystal Palace, uh, getting a late penalty thanks to Mamadou Sako uh, just losing his mind in the last three minutes of the match. Junior Stanislaus taking the penalty there uh, to win it for Bournemouth. Patrick Van Anholt, a goal in the match for Palace. So that is how your weekend shook out, how this weekend will shape up. Uh, well, Friday Night Football on NBC Sports is how we started off as we're about to head into an international break after this weekend. Uh, Brighton and Hove and West Ham square off at 3 p.m. Eastern on Friday afternoon. On Saturday, 10 a.m. matches include Leicester City versus Everton, Tottenham versus Cardiff, Palace versus Wolves, Watford versus Bournemouth, and Burnley versus Huddersfield. And then at 12.30, Rafa Benitez does his interview as Newcastle travels to United. Didn't plan that. Uh, and on Sunday at 7 a.m., you get Fulham versus Arsenal, so plenty of reason to sleep in. Southampton versus Chelsea is your 9-15 match. And then 11.30, Liverpool versus Man City at Anfield. Can City exercise some demons, or can Liverpool keep... Their unbeaten run in the Premier League going. We will see. So that is that for that match week. Let's take a quick look at the table now that we have the results from this past weekend. Uh, Man City sit atop with 19 points. Liverpool also have 19 but are behind in goal differential. Um, and oof, Six goals behind. That is, that is already a little bit. It's a little bit. 18 to 12 in goal differential. But it's still very early on yet. Uh, Chelsea two points back with 17, Tottenham in fourth with 15, Arsenal in fifth on goal differential, and then Watford and Bournemouth round out, round out your top seven with 13 points apiece. At the bottom of your heart, the relegation zone, Brighton, Hunhove, Southampton, and Fulham all sit just outside with five points, where Newcastle, Cardiff, and Huddersfield still looking for their first wins of the season, each each on two points. Uh, so that is your uh, Premier League wrap-up to the Champions League for this week. Uh, some some little bit of craziness happening in the Champions League this week as we start in Group A. Uh, Atletico Madrid gets a couple of late goals uh, to beat Club Bru 
Club Bruges at home 3-1. Uh, they get the win there to sit atop the group tied with Borussia Dortmund, who beat Monaco 3-0 uh, at the Westfal Stan Westfalen Stadion. Um, so Dortmund and Atletico, six points in the group. Bruges and Monaco with zero. Dortmund currently on top with goal differential. Uh, group B, Barcelona had a back-and-forth affair with Tottenham. Uh, they do get the win at Wembley 4-2. Lionel Messi with a brace there. Uh, Harry Kane with a goal for Tottenham. Uh, Inter gets a come-from-behind win again in the Champions League 2-1, this time at Eindhoven. Uh, Nengelen and Mauro Icardi on the board for Inter, as both Inter and Barcelona are at six points. Tottenham and Eindhoven both at zero. Tottenham, though, a chance to make up ground with back-to-back -back matches against PSV if they can find wins there. Uh, Group C, uh, PSG run rampant over Red Star, 6-1. Uh, Neymar with that Hattie, uh, Cavani, Di Maria, and, and Mbappe also with goals there. And then L Napoli put an end to Liverpool's unbeaten season so far. A late winner from Lorenzo Insigne sends the Stadio San Paolo into Raptures as they get a huge win against Liverpool 1-0, uh, which means they now sit atop the group. Liverpool and PSG are both at three points, and Red Star is at one. Liverpool currently in second due to the head-to-head -head against PSG. However, if it does turn around, PSG does have a plus-four goal differential currently, while Liverpool is zero. However, Liverpool does have two straight games against Red Star, where they can certainly change that. Uh, Group D, uh, Schalke, no fear. No fear going into Moscow as they beat Lokomotiv 1-0 on an American goal from the American head of American Weston McKinney in the 88th minute. Uh, gets the win for Schalke, no fear there. Uh, and then Porto gets a winner uh, from Musa Marega against Galatasaray as they win 1-0. So Porto and Schalke both at four points, Galatasaray at three, Lokomotiv at none. Uh, group E. Ajax draws Bayern 1-1 at the Allianz. Uh, Bayern goes up early on a Mats Hummels fourth-minute goal, but Nasser Matsurai gets one back for Ajax, and they steal a point on the road. Big for them. Uh, Benfica with the 3-2 win over Athens. Uh, they went up 2-0 early, gave it all away, and then and eventually needed a 74th minute winner from Alfredo Estevez. Uh, but that gets them all three points and puts them in third place in the group. Ajax and Bayern currently tied on four points apiece. Benfica at three, Athens at zero. Group F, Man City got a win and needed it badly. After giving up a first minute goal to Ishak Belfoldi of Hoffenheim, uh, Aguero scores seven minutes later for City to get things to 1 1. And then David Silva in the 87th minute gets the winner. A little bit of non penalty called action in that one as well. But Silva with the winner means Man City gets their first three points of the group stage. And man, if they had drawn that one, that would have sent this group into absolute chaos as uh, Leon and Shakhtar draw 2 2. Uh, one of the Dembele's scoring from. Uh, Leon, it's the other Moussa Dembele. Uh, he got a goal along with Leo Dubois, uh, the French footballer, getting one for Leon to com complete the comeback against Shakhtar as they rescue a point, which means they sit atop the group. Manchester City are at three points, Shakhtar at two, Hoffenheim at one. I didn't mention it, but Leon has four points. Uh, in Group G, CSKA Moscow with the biggest shock of the round so far, though. Uh, a second-minute goal from Nikola Vlasic. Um, you may remember him from the World Cup. He gets the 1-0 winner over Real Madrid um, as they get a big win there in Moscow. Elsewhere, Roma destroys Victoria Pizan 5-0 and Dzeko with a hat trick there. So the Group G stands now like this. Moscow leads the group with four points. Real Madrid and Roma tied with three. And Victoria Pizan has one point. Very close group there so far. And then Group H, Juventus with a comfortable win against those young boys. Uh, Paulo Dybala with a hat-trick as well in this uh, group stage. He sets Juventus up to the full six points. 
United draw Valencia at home. So they earn a point, but only just. Uh, they are sitting still in second place in Group H with four points. Valencia get their first point. The young boys have zero points, but still United take, again, only one point in a draw at home against Valencia. So, yikes. But that's how that group went. Um, we're heading into the news and notes now. Uh, news for Euro 2024. Germany uh, gets a big win over Turkey. You know they love that. I mean, Mesonosal didn't probably like it. Uh, but Germany uh, will be hosting Euro 2024. Uh, it's their first uh, big tournament the country is hosting since the World Cup in 2006. Three-time champions will be hosting it. Um, having not won it in quick maths, I want to say by the time they'll host it, I believe it'll be 28 years. So they'll see if they can change that then. And then finally in news and notes, uh, I did mention VAR a little bit in the this, this City match. Uh, VAR will be making its Champions League debut in the 2019-2020 season. So next year we will have VAR starting, I believe, in the, uh, the group stage. Um, so that will be... Uh, we'll, we'll see if it works out a little better than it did in the World Cup. I, I'm a big believer in bringing in VAR. Just hope the process is better for that so again you'll be seeing var in the champions league starting next season so that is news and notes uh watch for uh good places back on the air boys mm, it's a good show it's a real good show you should watch that show it's a good show you can catch up on the first two seasons on netflix uh season three is airing now on nbc and hulu you can find episodes on there but again watch the good place it stars Kristen Bell and Emmy-nominated Ted Danson. It's fucking great. Watch The Good Place. Can't say it enough. Um, that's going to do it uh, for my part. Uh, so now we're going to kick it over to Wes Bradshaw for Anfield Corner. Wes, take it away.
Thank you so much for that, Wes Bradshaw. That is going to do it then for this episode of the podcast. Episode 230 is in the books. Uh, once again, we'd like to thank NGSC Sports at NGSCSports.com. We never stop. I uh, want to also give uh, you can, oh, I'm sorry. First, before I give more thanks, you can find them on Twitter. You can also find us on Twitter as a collective. We are at AFA Pod. Um, Wes is at Wes Bradshaw 21. I am at Edward Green. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube via our parent show, The All New Sports Show. Um, you can also email us at that address, allnewsportshow at gmail.com. Lastly, thanks to all our pod, pod, podcast providers, including podbean.com, Stitcher Spreaker, iHeartRadio, the TuneIn Radio app, Google Play Music, and the iTunes Music Store. We'll be back live, much improved, next week uh, for episode 231. Um, But until then, uh, guys, a big week of Premier League football, of course, coming up here, starting again on Friday afternoon. Check it out. Uh, And, of course, on Sunday, the big match between Liverpool and City. That is at 11 a.m. So until then, for my call in crime, Wes Bradshaw, I am Edward Green. Until we talk again, ladies and gentlemen, please stay safe and enjoy the football. And good night, South Korea. We love you and we'll rise. You're listening to NGSC Sports Radio. Hear us live on NGSCSports.com where you can get awesome analysis for all things sport. Or check out our podcasts on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, iTunes, TuneIn, and much more. For our latest videos, head to NGSC Sports' YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter at NGSC Sports and like us on Facebook. NGSC Sports. We never stop.